Hey guys, Cedar Essentials here. So I'm gonna be starting off this project with towels that I got from Home Depot. You can get the same towels from Walmart. I'm gonna be cutting down the dolls to different lengths for this project. This is a requested video, so I decided to just make it so that when I'm done, I give it to a special someone. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. The supplies used for this project were not much, but I will leave a detailed link of every single thing that I used down in the description box below. This is a little handy saw that I bought online. This is meant for light duty cutting and the blade is not too deep, but it will be able to cut the dowels. I'm going to have four different sizes of cutouts from the dolls and here they are. I arrange them like this because on the boards that I'll be using, I'll be using two actually, one for the top and one for the bottom. Now I don't have a board that's round for the bottom so I decided to just cut a board that I already have at home. The dolls are going to be attached to both boards. After that, I took my time to write down where each dowel is going to be. I'm going to repeat the same arrangement on two sides of the board, leaving me with three patterns that are the same. The next step will be to turn over the board and start attaching the dolls, starting with the longest one, that is 17 inches. I'll be using smaller dowels to give me the exact spacing that I will need before attaching the next 17 inches long dowel that I have cut. These dowels are going to be the support for the table and I did this for all three sides. When I was done with that, I then later attached the base. I'll be using wood glue to make the bond even stronger. I left it overnight to dry. And then I realized that in the design, I will need to elevate it just a bit. So because of that, I'll be using these embroidery hoops as the base. They come in two, so I'll be gluing them together and attaching it to the bottom of the table.
Before I start adding the other cutout dolls, I put a support here so that it doesn't touch the wall because I'll need a little bit of space from the table to the wall. I'm following the design that I see on the picture and all the dolls that I'll be attaching would just be on each other. Meanwhile, the very first set of dolls that I had attached, which are the 17 inches, those are the support for the table. The subsequent dolls are gonna form a pattern and each of these dolls are gonna be attached to one another using a hot glue gun and wood glue. I wanna let you guys know that for this project, wood glue is gonna be your best friend because all through I used wood and I used wood glue because it's gonna make it much more stronger. So be ready to use a lot of wood glue for this project. When I was done, I took it out and covered all the dolls with Mod Podge. This will give the dolls a nice shiny effect after the spray painting is done. I left it outside to dry for a bit and then I came in and took a flexible board and cut it into strips that I'm going to cover with gold reflective paper. And this will be used as the golden trim that will be at the top and at the bottom of the table. Because I'm doing this after I have attached the dowels, I'm going to have to cut what I've made into smaller pieces for these other sections that are in between. Now I'm going to go ahead and use wood glue in between the trim and the piece of wood that I have at the top and at the bottom. To avoid this, I'll recommend cleaning off the glue from the surfaces of the dowels as you are attaching them to one another. All I'm doing now is painting the outer sides of the wood. I'm going to keep that aside and then use gems that I got from Walmart to cover up the top of the dolls. I'm also going to be covering up the screw heads. This is glass that I found in the trash and it was perfect for the size that I was going to work with. So I picked it up, cleaned it, and then I'm going to be spray painting just one side of the glass. I let it dry for about an hour, and this is what it looks like. Now this is where I spray painted, and this side here is going to be the top of the table. I used a smaller round glass at the bottom, because if I had used a larger one, it wouldn't go through the space that I had at the bottom. And my DIY coffee table is complete. I just love the way this table turned out and I didn't really spend much making this compared to the actual things sold in the stores. I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned one or two things from it. Now don't forget to like it and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button. 